Hey, it's Victor Sane again, and I've got another video for you. Today, I'm going to try to get a flat head. Oh, not that head. More like an automotive head. We're going to flatten this thing out. Insanely cool cars, tool reviews, and auto repair videos. Now, I prefer to do this on a clean, flat surface. This is maybe flat. we got to check it, but we got to clean it first. And for that, I'm using some of these magic paper towels. And you only need a little bit, because what you do with these is you wad a little piece up and put it right in the middle of the nasty surface. And you set it on fire. And then you say the magic word. Wait, you got to have it really on fire. There you go. Say the magic word, insane friends! Wow, magic is so much easier than hard work. Wait, oh man, I should have saved today's magic for... Flattening out the head. Well, let's do this the hard way. Now, if you've been avoiding your sandpaper for a while, it's been sitting around, got all curled up, you can wet it and then roll it out and use something heavy to pin it down. I just did that wrong. I'm going to be going front to back. So I'm turn that around. There you go. Try to be careful with it, especially at the edges, because you don't want your edges to fold. Them fold under on you. The edges are going to be the hardest thing. To... We're going to have to leave that there for a little while. So I'm going to take you over here once I get this pin down. I'm going to need some more big sockets. Once I get this pin down, I'm going to take you over here and show you just how not flat the head is. Now we'll let that sit there for a minute and think about what it's done wrong while we go get the head and bring it over here to punish it. And we're going to check and see just how not flat this head is. Now, of course, I already cleaned the head. You need to clean the head before you do this. If you don't want to convert monkey meters to American Standard, you can take your mic and just measure it. Now, we're looking for something that's about 15 thousandths because most heads I like to get them below 15 thousandths. But um, sometimes I want to go below 5 thousandths. So we'll test this with both. <clears throat> Usually I see like 20 or 30 thousandths out. Sometimes more. If it gets much more than that, you might want to just get another head. I like to test here, 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 sometimes here and here, and always diagonally across here and here. So let's do that. This is my 14 thousandths. Also uh, 30 millimeter or 0.30 millimeter. 30 millimeter that would be big this was leaking right across here so i'm actually very surprised i'm not getting any it's not low there yeah it's not going underneath there at any of these it's... so let's try the thinner one which is about five thousandths and good there which i Usually is because that's near the bolts. So, still doesn't go under there. This is looking pretty good, guys. This is looking a lot better than I expected. So, I think we're going to need to switch the sandpaper to a much lighter sandpaper and just give this a little once over so that you can see the process. And this is like a 36 grit. So, obviously, we're not going to need that today. So, I guess you're not going to get punished today, little buddy. Oh, look at that. Went right back to being unruly because it didn't get punished for what it did. And figures the cooperative one is going to get all the punishment. In case you're wondering, this is a glass top. That's why we know it's so flat. And we're just pushing the head back and forth across the camera.
Now that's not too many movements. Let's see how much difference it's made, if any at all. Y'all are seeing this before I am. Wow. Look at that. That's an 80 grit. It made that much difference with that little effort. Look at all that. Of course, this head is not in very bad shape, as we saw earlier. So it's it's pretty much hitting most, if not all, of it. Kind of looks like it needs a little more work there. And it was indeed leaking right there. But not much else. The biggest thing with this head because it is so flat, is to work it a little bit so that if we have any little bit still sticking up here or there, like pieces of gasket material or anything, which I did use the whiz wheel on it to try to get all the gasket material off of it. But if I missed some with the whiz wheel or anything, going over it, flat sanding it, will get that and get rid of that so that we don't end up with a little piece of something. You're still gonna have to be very, very careful of being very, very clean with your deck surface and this head surface and your gasket because any little tiny thing gets on your gasket, your head, or your deck, it's gonna be pinched in between there and it's gonna make a raised spot and then you're gonna have this big low spot all the way around it causing a leak. But there you go, guys. I'm gonna do this a bit more and then I'm gonna finish my head gasket job. I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you so much, so much for watching my videos. And thank you so much for watching this far into the videos. If you got this far, comment Papa Wheelie in the comments. This is bonus material to thank you guys for staying so late in the video. If you look right here, this cylinder around this cylinder just looks so fantastic. After going over it a little bit more. And, and this one looks pretty darn good too but you can start seeing a little bit of a low spot right there where my fingernail is. But the biggest low spot is right around here, mostly right in here and a little bit right there. But this area right here, when you back away, you can see that. So that's one of the things that flat sanding does for you. So it really shows up those low spots. And there's a little bit right across here. So you can just sand a little bit check it, clean off your sandpaper, sand a little bit, check it, clean off your sandpaper, and just keep repeating until you find exactly where your low spots are and you get rid of them. Don't put any downward pressure on your head. Let the weight of the head work for you. When you're convinced that you're absolutely done and doesn't need any more work, then try. This is not necessary. Just a little extra. Try going diagonally from corner to corner. And then diagonal from corner to corner here as well. And then take a look like we did before. And you'll see you've made a crosshatch pattern. And that crosshatch pattern not only is good for grip for the gasket, but it makes any low spots, like that little bit of low spot right there, which has scratches in it, so it's actually touching, but it's, you can see it. And this low spot right here shows up even more than that right there. And you see just a little bit right there too, from this cylinder to this port right here, right at the tipping point. And it's getting harder and harder to see any low spots. And when you do that diagonally and make that crosshatch pattern, you can look from different angles and you can really see anything that's left. If you like the extra bonus material I give at the end of the videos, not every video, but this one certainly, then please comment below, I like the bonus material. Or I'd like to see more bonus material. Maybe I'll start doing bonus material in all my videos, not just some of them. I do like to reward you guys that are here this late in the video with something because I really, really appreciate people playing the whole video, making those long views. That makes a huge difference in whether the Google algorithm promotes your video or not.
Wow. Until the next video, get off the couch and get dirty.